Hello and welcome to video tutorial 10. Uh, this is a short tutorial on um, saving and opening projects. Um, if you've been working on a project like this one, uh, it is recommended that uh, you save the project at regular intervals just in case something goes wrong and then you can recover uh, from the last time you saved. Uh, the last thing you want to do you spend a lot of time working on a project, don't save it and then you have a power cut or your computer goes wrong or something like that. So um, here we've got a project uh, to uh, save this project. Uh, well first thing to know, if we try to actually uh, leave Easy Sketch Pro and we haven't saved the current project or there have been changes to the current project then we will get a message saying you have some changes in your project, would you like to save it? Okay, so you're given the opportunity to do that. Um, but you can save it at any time by going up here and clicking on the uh, Diskette Tool button. Uh, if you hover over it, it says Save Project. So we click on that and then you can navigate, just like any other Windows program, navigate to where you want to save the project to. Um, and down here you give your project a name. We'll call it uh, Project 1 and you click on save and you'll get a message coming up saying file saved with six elements okay and that's there are the six objects there or elements so now the project's been saved uh, so regularly once you well once you've done uh, it once and given it a name um, if you now uh, I don't know change something let's uh, just add an exclamation mark there uh, now, if you save it, you don't. Uh, it's, uh, it's just saying file saved with six elements. You don't have to specify the name because you've already done it. Okay. Um, if at any point uh, you want to create a new project, then you can come up here to the blank sheet of paper uh, icon, which says new project, and you click on that. Now, if you click on that and you've got again got unsaved changes here, you will be uh, told. Uh, you've got unsaved changes and asked if you want to save them. You can only open one project at a time in Easy Sketch Pro. Um, so uh, if you try to open a new project, it closes the previous one. Okay, so now we've got a new project and we can start working on that. Uh, to actually open an existing project, uh, all we have to do is come up here to the open folder uh, icon in the toolbar called Open Project. Click on that and we can go to our uh, project files. Now these, the Easy Sketch Pro project files all have the extension SKCH okay and so that's the file format you're looking at. Uh, just a small point but it does confuse some people uh, don't, don't confuse the SKCH file with the video file because I know some people have actually saved their project uh, in an SKCH file and then they try to run that as a video uh, in, in a video player and uh, get frustrated when it when it doesn't actually work because it's not actually a video this file can only be opened uh, in Easy Sketch Pro uh, the final video file uh, you produce and we'll be seeing how to do that a bit later uh, that will have a, a an MP4 extension a standard video extension okay so don't confuse those two anyway uh, you look for the SQCH, uh, that's the one we wanted, Project 1, click on it and either double click on it or click on it and click Open and you can see it comes in uh, here, like so, um, and it builds up the, the project. Uh, let me show you that again because I want you to take note of um, what's going on in the uh, bottom right hand corner here. Uh, so I'll just create a new project again to get rid of that. We'll open the project again and have a look at what's going on in the bottom right hand corner at the moment it says idle uh, but if we open it we can see you've got tasks 1 okay and I'll do it just again to show you the uh, what's happening in the left hand corner down here when we load a project uh, here we go it's saying one it's loading each of the individual items of 6 and then it's done okay so that's uh, saving and opening projects, uh, simple as that. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, well, I almost forgot, there's one, one final point I want to make. Uh, if you want to actually 
uh, you, you've got an existing project open and you're working on it and you want to save it uh, under a different name then just as with uh, any Windows program you come up here to file and you select save as rather than save. Save will overwrite the existing file save as will allow you to put in a new name and save it under a different name. That can be useful if you're working on um, a big project and you want various staging points in it so that if something goes wrong um, then you can go back to one of your pre previous staging points. And it's also useful if uh, you are creating a new project which is uh, fairly similar or almost the same as a previous project obviously you can open that previous project and work on it and save it under a new name okay but I would recommend if you're doing that that you save it under a new name straight away open it up save it under a new name and then work on it because otherwise you may forget you'll press the save button and you'll overwrite the old file okay just wanted to point that out